Changing gears in Texas this weekend, just absolutely horrible situation. And there have been some questions about kind of the setup of all that meteorologically. Let's talk to Ansley. Yeah, absolutely. It is a horribly tragic event that took place in Texas Hill Country over last weekend. A lot of historic and unfortunately deadly flooding. So let's talk a little bit more about what setup came together for this event to occur. Now we have to start with Tropical Storm Barry, which is a storm that did not impact the U.S. directly, but had a lot of subsequent tropical moisture. Now when this moisture ran into the mountains, it had nowhere else to go and decided to filter northward towards central Texas. Now once this moisture reached that area, there was already a low pressure, a stationary low pressure area there and the, all the trop tropical moisture filtering into that region created these long lived, slow moving and extremely efficient rainfall producing showers and storms that led to impressive rainfall totals like what you can see on your screen there and notice there are areas with just insane values here. And we're talking over 20 inches in areas close to Mason, close to Marble Falls and of course an area that you've probably heard about a lot, which is care County now right there where you see the flooding over a foot of rain. All of that rain filtered into the Guadalupe River and that contributed to a lot of the flooding. So what happened forecast wise? Well, the threat for flash flooding was understood, but you have to understand that meteorologically nailing down locations where storms could stall or dump crazy rainfall amounts is still a limitation that we have in the field. So the National Weather Service office in Central Texas did a wonderful job. Once the trends were identified that these areas were going to see heavier rainfall, they had prompt response time and they issued flash flood warnings and emergencies. But unfortunately, with numbers like what you see there, the Guadalupe River rising 26 feet in just 45 minutes. Unfortunately, that just did not give people enough time at 4 a.m. on a holiday weekend to get out and evacuate. So a very unfortunate situation where just kind of all the perfect ingredients came together for an unfortunately tragic and deadly event. I'm meteorologist Ansley Parker. Stay with us. We're back after the break.